I was born in Cape Verde, a beautiful island in Africa. I remember that every single girl I met was preparing to become a good spouse, a fantastic mother, and even when you dream, you feel guilty because you're not supposed to have big dreams. I keep telling my two daughters that they can do everything and they can become whoever they want to become. I tell them that it will be difficult because of the color of their skins, because they are girls, but life will not treat them the way they wish to be treated. One of my favorite quotes is the one from Victor Hugo that says, Il vient une heure où protester ne suffit plus. Après la philosophie, il faut passer à l'action. I love this quote because I think at one time in point, you have to stop talking and just acting. When I left the government, uh, I left with this idea that the next big game changers wouldn't come from politics, but from corporations. And when I spoke to all these people uh, working uh, in Sanofi and doing their best to make diversity and inclusion matter, not just on the paper, but really to make it happen because they have understood that in this diversity and inclusion resides their success. My parents raised me not to be a victim. So I closed my eyes on the sexism and racism. Hence, even when I was badly treated, I kept walking. But at one time in point, you have to stop and think about this injustice. How the hell is that possible that after decades and decades and decades of some human suffering, racism, sexism, xenophobia, homophobia, and we can't find the solution? So believe me, I will fight until my very last breath on this topic because it's unacceptable.